What are you doing over there? Picking up compost. For what? For boots. All right. Why are we doing it for boots? Well, in memory of Justin Rhodes' dad, we're gonna plant a couple of trees. This is a Jeff Lawton inspired compost pile, wood chips and manure and hay. It looks beautiful. So we're gonna use this compost and we're gonna plant 10 Mayhaw trees in the woods. Wow. You remember what this was, right? Uh -huh. A bunch of hay and wood chips and poop. It's like earth. Dirt. Yeah. Colonel likes it. Yeah. But he can't have it because he just spread it out all over the place. Yep. Sure. Nah, he's a sweetheart. Yeah, he is a sweetheart, but he can't have my compliment. <laughs> he's about to jump in your trailer. Get both of those. Man, look at all those trees. Oh yeah, they're beautiful. They're twiggy. twiggy, twiggy. They will be beautiful, for sure. They have nice red berries on them. Yes, they will. So this trailer that Jeff's hooking up to our Polaris, we found buried in the dirt on our property. So rather than throw it away, he put two new tires on it. And now, we have an awesome little red trailer that hooks up to our Polaris. And we use it all the time. We're just gonna make it work. So what you're trying to say is you're rednecking your trailer there? Baby, I redneck everything. <laughs> but you know what, it hasn't fallen off yet. And it works. We're not going on a road or anything. Here we go. Whoa. So we just tilled this area. I seeded it with some winter wheat and whatever else the Lord put here. Uh, should make a good hunting spot, but we noticed that the soil here is much more fertile than uh, a lot of the other red dirt around here so we decided to plant a couple of trees what kind of trees did you get i got mayhaw trees these are two-year-old mayhaws and they should produce um, berries this year and we will make jelly out of it yeah. mayhaw jelly is one of the most delicious things in the whole world so we will make mayhaw jelly out of it um, but our area here is a perfect like half circle and so we should be able to fit all of these trees just kind of along the ridge line here and when the berries start coming in it should be gorgeous beautiful beautiful we could put picnic table down here <laughs> and just that'll, come that'll hang bring out. all the deer in for sure well we could do it in like <laughs> april there's not deer season in april yeah so in honor of uh Justin Rhodes is dad, but we got to meet him through uh, Justin Rhodes' YouTube channel. Um, such a great... Good, godly man. Yeah, good, godly man, a, a gentle man, a, a, an entrepreneur, um, a very hardworking man, and it's just uh, in, an inspirational man. So in honor of him, doing it for boots. We're going to plant some trees, and uh, that will remind us of him uh, as they grow. And if ever uh, Mr. Justin Rhodes comes and visited us here. We he, can show him. Yeah. And it will remind us every time we come down here of the qualities and characteristics of the man that we are planting these in honor of and encourage us to live our life the same way. So Amen. here you go. 
We're gonna plant a bunch of mayhaw trees. Last one. We're gonna go get some feed sacks and get this burn pile lit. It has been raining for two weeks and it's not today. I think it'll work. Yeah. This is gonna be gorgeous when it comes in. Yeah. And you just have like a whole sea of bright red deliciousness. Delicious berries. Cannot wait. Last one, we planted 10 trees today, a couple of different varieties of mayhaw. I don't even know what a mayhaw is, but they're beautiful and they sure do taste good. So oh, yeah. we're about to learn. <laughs> Heidi's never been down here before. <laughs> She's had so much fun running all over the place. <laughs> She's such a goop. <laughs> Her favorite thing though currently is to push all the dirt back into the hole that dad just dug. Mm -hmm. Not very helpful. Not bad. Eh. Well, that was hard work, but it will pay off for generations to come. Yep. And we thank you guys for your support. We thank our mentors and our teachers for the motivation and the inspiration and we hope to do the same for some of you to inspire you to make your dreams come true so here's the last one tree number 10 as justin rhodes says just plant even if it's on a patio in an apartment just plant yep the soil looks beautiful all right, throw some compost on top. Oh. Time to go make Valentine's Day dinner. All it done. Yeah. Mm. I tried to set it up to where there's a little bit of a, yeah. like from the, uh, the downhill mm -hmm. to where it'll catch some of the the watershed. Good idea. Hopefully. These things said they could be submerged. They don't have to be, but they can be. So if I can get a, set it up to where the water will rush in here and kind of pool up. And we got a bunch of good uh, compost with a lot of organic material in it. So it should maintain moisture pretty well. Yep. <clears throat> 10 trees. Good job. We try to add 10 or 20 trees or berry bushes every single year. That might end up being more like 30 or 40 this year because we didn't really plan on buying 10 mayhaw trees. Yeah. Oops. Mm -hmm.